my favorite shawarma versus my homemade shawarma hi guys welcome to slay the recipe channel it's your girl Mary Kay. if you are new here please hit the subscribe button yes we made it to over 100 subscribers i want to thank you guys for it because we couldn't have gotten here without you i promise hey we will have fun hitting that subscribe button will be a decision you will never regret <laughs> hit that button so i took a tour to my favorite shawarma joint in kumasi there i met Mo. he makes tasty shawarma wait till i cut through this so this is what happened during the lockdown i was restrict i was having shawarma cravings look at this shawarma I was having this kind of cravings. I was restricted from driving that far just to buy shawarma. So I took a video of how he makes my favorite shawarma just for you guys. Let's watch how he makes my favorite shawarma. Then we head to my kitchen to watch me work some magic. Please take note of all the details. We will need that for our homemade shawarma. <laughs> I'm excited. I went grocery shopping to grab a few ingredients. We will need to slay the recipe. Yeah, cause me cook massive jump ne Oh, but then I bought some things from the mall. <laughs> So these are our ingredients for our shawarma filling. Please rinse your vegetables before using it, especially with anti-corona out there. We aren't taking any chances. Meat, chicken, onions, lettuce, green pepper, tomatoes and your spices. Let's start off by cutting our lettuce. Another option too, you can start by pulling the lettuce apart. I mean you owe nobody a knife. Then we slice our green pepper. 
onions and tomato you mix your salad up and set it aside I got this chicken breast at the mall you can decide to use whatever chicken you have but I advise you get a chicken breast or broiler chicken breast it just makes your work easier slice into smaller pieces like this and then you put in the spices of your choice fun fact I tried a new spice I have never used before and then I loved it Mr. Spice I recommend that spice to everyone I also got some beef for beef lovers so for those who prefer beef to chicken I would advise you use a less fatty part because it wasn't easy slicing through that with all the fat around it you do the same process with your beef spice with your spices of your choice whilst all this is going up heat your grill or frying pan depending on what you have available but before that we we'll marinate this for 20 minutes grease your pan with a little butter about a pea size depending on how much chicken or beef you have wait for this it's going to be amazing since we have a bigger grill and to save time we'll put the beef too on the other side of our grill We will leave this on to it's partially cooked and we toss in our salad. Just look at that. Use chicken breast though, you will not regret it. <sighs> All that goodness. All that. Mmm. It is ready. It is ready now our filling and wraps are ready so we fill our wraps up guess what i made these homemade flat breads also known as pita breads or shawarma bread start by spreading mayonnaise on your wrap nah. then you add veggies with our chicken and beef chicken and our beef then the ketchup to taste then wrap it is homemade you add the chicken the amount of chicken that you want you do the same for the second one okay so you observe that it's bulky but we have our friend here to flatten it a bit For those of you who do not have this helping hand at home, I will share a link of where you can get one or you can use a frying pan. Careful, careful, we don't want the floor to enjoy our hard work. We wrap it in an aluminium foil just like smudged. 
so our shawarma is ready you do same for the second one wrap in an aluminium foil wrap 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 Ta-da! Yum yum! Guys, that's some good stuff you can make yourself at home. Dinamaope. Just say, namnigum. This is why it's important to flatten it. Remember, it was bulky at first, but now it's not. This thing is so good. Okay. Let's have a closer look at this thing again. Look at the inside. The amount of meat and chicken. If you watch the video of our grocery shopping, you realize I was so curious to try this cheese. So I bought cheese and brought it home and put it inside my shawarma, hoping to add a twist to this amazing shawarma. But then guess what? My heater wasn't heating enough, so it didn't, I, it didn't get that pizza effect that we usually get the actual time one. <laughs> so we will learn in our next video and get better. I know that's the one with cheese. We, di we didn't get the outcome we wanted. But this shawarma is what we should be concentrating on. Our slayed shawarma. Please like my videos, share with your friends on how I made my homemade shawarma and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Thank you.